And we're just going to be starting in just a nice, comfortable seat. So if you're not there already, you can make your way onto your mat, finding a comfortable seat that feels good for you. And as we get all settled in here, you are welcome to close your eyes or maybe just have a nice gentle gaze looking down towards your mat. But just allow everything around you to just disappear. Just let go of any outside distractions. And I know with a home practice, there tends to be a few more of those. So just allowing all your attention to move inward. Just start to notice your natural breath. Notice if your breath is full and lengthened. Maybe right now your natural breath is a little short and shallow. And if you do have that short and shallow breath, then just start to deepen your inhales and lengthen out your exhale. Using that breath, to help calm the body and to help clear your mind. And then once you've created this steady, full rhythm with your breath, bring your attention to your body. Notice where you may be holding on to any tension or tightness. Maybe through the shoulders, the neck, the jaw. Just soften and relax into those spaces. Notice if anything feels a little extra sore or achy this morning. Just breathe into those spaces. Notice the contact points on the earth. feet, the ankles, your sit bones, just feeling this sense of grounding and stability. If you had your eyes closed, you're welcome to keep them closed or maybe blink them open. Take that left arm, reach up and over to the right. Just coming into a nice gentle side bend, reaching out through those fingertips, big, big stretch. And now just start to lean forward, just towards your right thigh. You're reaching that left arm past that right knee, big, big stretch. And as you inhale, come back to that side bend, pointing heart up to the sky. Let's do that again. As you exhale, point your heart towards your right thigh, reach through that left arm. Inhale, open the heart to the sky, side bend. One more time, exhale, lean forward. 
And then inhale back up through center and reach and stretch over to your left. Rotating the heart up to the sky, big stretch. And as you exhale, point your heart down towards your left thigh. Right arm is reaching kind of at an angle past your knee. As you inhale, come back to that side bend, heart to the sky. Exhale, fold heart towards your thigh. One more time, inhale, side bend, rotate up. And exhale, fold. Inhale, return back up to center. With that belly pulling inward, just take a gentle twist over to your right. Keeping that length up through your spine, gently turning your head towards your right shoulder. Keep that belly pulling inward to protect your low back. Take one more inhale. As you exhale, move through center and then take your twist over to the left. You can grab a hold of your left knee. Think about reaching the crown of your head away from your tailbone. One more, inhale, breath, and exhale back to center. As you inhale, reach those arms up to the sky, stretch through your fingertips. Exhale, hands together at your heart. One more time, inhale, reach to the sky, and exhale, hands together at your heart. Let's go ahead and lean forward, coming into our tabletop, hands and knees. As we come into our tabletop here, again, if you have yoga blocks, one or two of them, have those sitting at the top of your mat. And again, if you don't have any blocks, that is okay. As we come into our tabletop here, we're stacking shoulders over wrist, hips over knees. As you inhale, drop your belly down. Curl your tailbone and chin up to the sky. On your exhale, round your upper back, dropping the tailbone, spine to the sky, chin to your chest. Again, inhale, drop the belly, heart forward, lift your chin. Exhale, round, push away from your mat, pull the belly in. Keep that going here, taking a few more rounds of your cat-cow. Just moving at your pace, following your breath. Again, taking this time to just check in with your body, noticing what feels good here. Maybe what needs a little more extra attention this morning, a little bit more of a stretch. This is your time on your mat. You are here just to take care of your body, just to feel better. This is your practice. I'm here to guide you, but again, do what feels right in your body. Let's take one more cycle of breath. And then just begin to move in big circles, sitting back towards your heels, circling around one direction here. And other direction. One more time around, and we'll meet back in our tabletop. Make sure those wrists are still under the shoulder. From here, we'll straighten our right leg back. Start with those toes pressing down into your mat, 
you're pushing out through that heel, maybe even rock a little forward and back, just that nice stretch through your calf. And now if you're rocking forward and back, come into stillness. With that leg reaching back, pull your belly up towards your spine. Feel that core tighten. Start to lift your right leg off your mat. Just trying to get your ankle about in line with your hip. You're reaching out through the heel. The front of the right hip. The right knee, the right toes, they're all pointing down towards your mat. Now you are welcome to stay right here or maybe reach your left arm out in front. Thumb to the sky, bicep by your ear. Now we're gonna be working on a few balancing poses this morning. The two most important things when it comes to balance, a strong engaged core, and a steady breath. Take one more inhale. Exhale, release. Take a moment just to sway those hips a little side to side. Let's do the other side. Straighten your left leg back. Start with those toes pressing into your mat. Maybe rock a little forward and back. Nice stretch into your calves. And now come into stillness, reaching out through that heel, pull the belly up towards your spine, feel that engagement in the abs and start to lift that left leg up, ankle in line with the hip, reach out through that heel. You can stay here or maybe that right arm reaches forward. Keep your neck nice and long, looking down towards your mat. Keep that belly pulling in, but keep breathing. Take one more inhale. Exhale, release, and just sway those hips a little side to side. Good. Now from here, walk those hands just about a handprint or two in front of your shoulders. You're going to start to shift your weight forward so the shoulders are over the wrists, but you're lowering those hips down slightly. So there's a straight line from the shoulders to your knees. Now we're in our plank here on our knees. You can stay here. Or option to lift those knees, press into those toes, full plank. If you have the knees lifted, hips are in line with your heart. Again, pull the belly in. Take an inhale breath. On your exhale, lower knees and chest and belly all the way down to your mat. Top of the feet, press down into the ground. Hug those elbows in. On an inhale breath, lift your chest cobra, just high as comfortable. And exhale, release, nose to mat. One more time, inhale, lift your chest, cobra. Exhale, release. Keep the top of the feet pressing into your mat. Inhale up to your hands and knees. Big toes together, knees come out wide as comfortable. Sit back, child's pose. Take a moment just to rest those arms coming off of the wrists here. Just let your body feel heavy, hips sink down towards your heels. If it feels good, you can even kind of rock those hips a little side to side. Big belly breaths here, in and out. Take one more inhale breath. Let out a long exhale. Inhale, rise back up to your tabletop. Shoulders under wrist, hips over knees. 
Let's do that little sequence one more time. Start by straightening your right leg back. Pull the belly in and lift that leg off your mat. Option to stay here or extend your left arm out in front. Steady breath. Feel that length from the fingertips through your heel. Take one more inhale and exhale, release. Sway those hips a little side to side, just a little reset. Other leg, straighten the left leg back. The core is engaged nice and strong and lift that left foot off your mat. Stay here, or that right arm reaches forward. The stronger and straighter you keep that raised leg, the easier it is to balance. Take one more inhale. Exhale, release. Sway those hips side to side. And now walk those hands about a handprint or two forward. Shift your weight forward, shoulders over wrist, lowering those hips down slightly, either plank on your knees or curl those toes, lift your knees, full plank. Again, this is your practice. We're pushing away from our mats. Take an inhale breath. On your exhale, lower knees, chest and belly down to your mat. Point your toes, shoulders back. Inhale, lift your chest, cobra. Exhale, release, nose to mat. One more time. Inhale, lift your chest, cobra. Exhale, release. Inhale, up to your hands and knees. Let those knees walk out wide. Sit back, child's pose. Take three full breaths here. On your next inhale, come up to your tabletop. Knees under the hips, curl the toes, this time downward facing dog. Our first down dog here, take a couple breaths, any movement that feels good, nice stretch through the legs, pedaling out those feet, maybe even swaying the hips a little side to side. Take another inhale breath. On your exhale, make your way to the top of your mat. Forward fold. As you inhale, just lift up halfway, lengthening out your spine. On your exhale, release and fold. Pressing into your feet, inhale, stand all the way up. Reach to the sky, exhale, hands at your heart. Inhale, reach tall. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift up halfway, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, stand, full body stretch. Exhale, hands at your heart. One more time through. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, big stretch. Exhale, hands at your heart. Now you're welcome to keep your hands right at your heart or bring your hands to your hips. Putting all your weight into your right foot. Option here is to just lift the left heel off your mat, but keep the toes down. 
or a little bit further, lifting that leg up, trying to get your left thigh parallel to the floor. You can keep a 90 degree bend in the knee. You are always more than welcome to scoot closer to a wall if you need help with a little bit of balance. We're pulling that belly in. Standing up tall, heart forward, shoulders back. Take an inhale breath. On your exhale, release. Let's try the other side, weight in your left foot. Again, you could always just work on just lifting that right heel, or maybe start to lift that right foot, trying to get that thigh parallel to the floor. Notice how you might feel more balanced on one side than the other. If you fall out of it, that's okay. Get right back in. Have a teeny tiny bend in your standing knee. Take one more inhale. Exhale, release. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Now we're just going to step our left foot back. Lowering that left knee to your mat, finding our low lunge. Making sure that front foot is forward enough, the front knee stays behind your toes. Pressing into that front foot. On an inhale, lift the chest, reach those arms up to the sky. You can let those hips sink forward, but keep pulling the belly in. Keep that core engaged and active. Take another inhale breath. On your exhale, release hands to mat. Straighten out that front leg. Flex your front foot. Half split. Let there be as much of a bend in that front knee as you need. Think about drawing your right hip back. Folding forward, crown of the head towards your toes. Take one more cycle of breath. And then we'll return back to our low lunge. Hands reaching towards your mat. We're going to take that front foot. Slide it all the way straight back. Lift it off your mat. We've been here before. You can stay here, or that left arm reaches forward. Two breaths. As you exhale, release hand and knee. Sway those hips a little bit. Curl those toes under. Downward facing dog. Take a breath. On your next exhale, make your way to the top of your mat, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, length. Exhale, fold. This time we'll step our right foot back, lowering that back knee to your mat, low lunge. Stacking that front knee over your ankle. Press into that front foot, pull the belly in, lift the chest, reach those arms to the sky. We're drawing our left hip back, but still let those hips sink forward, big stretch into the hips. Take one more inhale. Exhale, release hands down. Straighten out that front leg, flex your foot, half split. Keep drawing your left hip back, firmly pressing down into that front heel. Take one more round of breath. And then return back to your low lunge. Take that front leg, slide it all the way back, lift it off your mat, ankle in line with your hip. Stay here or that right arm reaches up, two breaths. Mm -hmm. 
As you exhale, release, curl those toes, downward facing dog. On your next exhale, make your way to the top of your mat, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, stand all the way up, reaching to the sky. Exhale, hands at your heart. Now again, either keep your hands at your heart or bring the hands to your hips. Weight in your right foot. Again, your variation here, maybe that left heel lifts, maybe the whole left leg lifts. Now you can keep that leg bent if you wanna go a step Further, you can straighten out that front leg, a little more challenging. Keep that belly pulling in. If you have your leg straight, just trying to lift it up high as you can. It's okay if it's closer to the ground. Now from here, slow and controlled, start to send that left leg straight back behind you, keep it lifted off your mat. Hinge your upper body forward. You can either stop at a warrior three, torso parallel to the floor, or lower hands down to your blocks or mat for a standing split. Whichever version you've chosen, we wanna keep those hips even. So maybe dropping your left hip down slightly. Again, the straighter and stronger you keep that raised leg, the easier it is to balance. Keep breathing. Now from here, we're going to make our way back down to our low lunge. So either using your blocks or hands down by that front foot. Gently lower your back foot and then back knee to your mat. Here we are back in our low lunge. Take a moment, few breaths here. Just lift the chest, either reach hands to the sky or maybe hands at your hips. Just taking this moment just to soak in the balancing, the transition. If anything felt challenging, that's okay. Take an inhale breath. If they're not there already, reach those arms to the sky. On an exhale, bring hands together at your heart. Pull your belly in. Just take a little twist to the right, just far as comfortable. You can stay here, or maybe those arms reach out to a T, nice and long. Right arm reaches back, left arm forward. And now return back to center. Hand down to your mat or blocks. We're gonna lift our back knee, pivot on our back foot, and rise up to our warrior two. Hips are open to the left. Now from our warrior two, we're gonna straighten that right leg. Send the hips back. Right fingertips reach past your right foot and then lower down triangle. Reach that left arm to the sky. Keep that heart open. Take one more, full breath in. Exhale out. Inhale, rise back up, warrior two. On an inhale, reach up and back, reverse warrior. As you exhale, cartwheel hands to mat. Now your choice here, you can go right to your down dog or take a vinyasa flow, either dropping belly for cobra, or lower halfway chaturanga to an up dog. 
and we'll all meet in our down dog. Again, this is your practice. What does your body need from you? From our down dog, inhale, look forward. Exhale, make your way to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, stand all the way up. Exhale, hands at your heart. All right, let's try the other side. Again, hands can be at the heart or the hips. Weight in your left foot. Again, find your variation with that right leg. Maybe it's just the heel that lifts. Maybe you try and lift the thigh parallel to the floor. Maybe you straighten out that leg. Lengthen up through the crown of your head. Stand tall. Pull that belly in. Now with that control, Start to send your leg straight back. Hinge the upper body forward. Either stop at your warrior three or lower the hands all the way down to your mat or block standing split. You want to keep that right knee and the right toes pointing towards the mat. Keep breathing. Again, if you fall out, that is okay. Take one more inhale breath. On our exhale, find your way back to your low lunge. Bend into the front knee, lower the back toes, and then the back knee down to your mat. Take a breath here, making sure that front knee is behind your toes. On an inhale breath, reach those arms up to the sky. Good. Bring your hands together at your heart. Pull your belly in. Take a twist to your left towards that front leg. Stay here or maybe reach those arms out to a T. Keep the shoulders stacked over your hips. Good. Return back to center. Hands down towards your mat or blocks. Lift your back knee. Pivot your back foot. Inhale up to your warrior two. Hips and heart open to the right side of your mat. Your back foot is parallel with the short edge. From here, straighten out your left leg. Reach that left arm forward. And then down, right arm to the sky, triangle. We're opening up the right hip. We're stacking right shoulder over the left. Take one more breath. And then inhale back up, warrior two. Reach up and back, reverse warrior. On your exhale, cartwheel hands to mat. Again, your vinyasa here, or head right to your down dog. If you want more of that active practice this morning, take that vinyasa flow. If you want to slow it down a little, then just go right to that down dog. All right, now that we're familiar with this flow, we're just gonna go through it one more time. On an inhale breath, look forward. Exhale, make your way to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, reach arms to the sky. Exhale, hands at your heart. Weight in your right foot. Find your lifted variation with that left leg. 
finding a steady focus point in front of you, rooting into that right foot. Take an inhale breath. On your exhale, start to send that left leg back. Tilt the upper body down, stopping at your warrior three or standing split, hands to mat or blocks. Keep the front of your left hip pointing down towards your mat. Even if you have to bring those back toes down, that is okay. Take one more inhale. On your exhale, lower down to your low lunge. Back foot to the mat, bend into the front knee and lower back knee down. As you inhale, lift the chest, reach arms to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart, pull the belly in, twist to the right, far is comfortable. Option to reach those arms long. Good. Return back to center. Hands to mat. Curl the back toes. Lift the back knee. Coming up to your warrior two. Open up those hips. Good. Straighten out your right leg. Exhale, triangle, right hand to your thigh, your shin, your ankle, left arm to the sky, two breaths here. On an inhale, rise back up, warrior two. Reach up and back, reverse warrior. Exhale, cartwheel, hands to mat. Your vinyasa here, and we'll meet in our down dog. All right, we've got to keep things even here. Just one more side. On an exhale, make your way to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, reach to the sky. Exhale, hands at your heart. Weight in your left foot. Again, your lifted variation with your right leg. Keep that steady breath. Keep that strong core. Take one more inhale. On your exhale, send that leg back, hinge forward, warrior three, or standing split. Trying to reach your heel to the wall behind you. Take one more inhale. On your exhale, gently lower to your low lunge, bending into that front leg, back knee to your mat. Inhale, lift the chest, reach to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart, pull your belly to your spine and twist to your left. Stay here. Or reach those arms out long. Good. Come back through center. Hands to mat. Lift the back knee. Pivot on that back foot. Rise up. Warrior two. Straighten up that left leg. Exhale. Triangle. Reach that right arm tall. Two breaths. As you inhale, rise back up, warrior two. Reach up and back, reverse warrior. Exhale, cartwheel, hands to mat. Last vinyasa here, and we will meet in our down dog. 
Once you're in your down dog, just take about three full breaths. Just giving yourself one last good down dog stretch, tailbone to the sky. And then when you feel ready, gently lower down, child's pose. Just take a few big breaths here. Oh, the hard work is over. Just let your body feel heavy on your mat. Take one more big breath in. Let out a long exhale. Inhale up to your tabletop and go ahead and just swing those legs around. Come into a seat. Have both legs extended out in front. Heels are pressing into your mat. You're flexing through the feet, toes to your forehead. Reach those arms up to the sky, inhale, lengthen. As you exhale, fold forward. Just reaching far as you can here. We'll take several breaths. So just allow your body to ease into the fold. With every exhale, maybe you fold just a little deeper. Take two more full breaths here. And as you inhale, slowly sit up. Head is the last to lift. Rolling the shoulders down your back. Let's go ahead and make our way onto our backs, however you would like to get there. Any little movements you want to do on the way down, maybe it's rolling forward and back. Maybe it's just coming right onto your back. Just hugging knees to the chest. Maybe rocking a little side to side. Just letting your head and your shoulders feel heavy on the mat. And now while keeping your legs bent, just lower soles of the feet to the ground. With those feet about hip distance apart. Arms at your side, press into your heels and start to curl your tailbone up and lifting your hips to the sky for a bridge. Just lifting up high is comfortable. You can keep your arms at your sides or maybe bring the shoulder blades together underneath you, clasping your hands at your low back. The arms press into the mat, heart lifts up towards your chin. 
Lengthening your tailbone towards your calves. Pressing down into your big toes. Take one more inhale. And on your exhale, gently lower down. It might feel good here to just windshield wiper those knees back and forth. And now bring your knees back to center. Scoot your hips closer to the right edge of your mat. Now option here, you can cross your right leg over the left like we would in eagle pose, or maybe how you would sit cross-legged in a chair. And then let those legs drop down to the left. If this feels too much for the low back or the hips, you could always uncross the legs and just stack right leg over the left. Let those arms open out to a T. Try to keep the back of your right shoulder down on your mat. Heart to the sky. Just a couple breaths here. Take one more, inhale, breath. As you exhale, bring your knees back to center. Scoot your hips towards the left edge. Option to cross your left leg over the right. And let the knees drop down to the right. This time, Trying to keep the back of the left shoulder down on your mat. Take one more, inhale, breath. As you exhale, return back to center, straighten out those hips and hug both knees in towards your chest, maybe rock a little side to side. And then holding on to your knees, let those knees open out wide. Feel that nice opening through the hips, the inner thighs. You can stay here or take a full happy baby, reaching for the outer or inner feet, soles of the feet to the sky. Again, it might feel good to rock side to side. You can even straighten out one leg and then the other. You can hang out in your happy baby as long as you'd like. Or if there's any other final movements you feel your body needs, go ahead and take those now before we give ourselves some time to just completely relax.
And as you begin to feel ready, you can just allow everything to release down to your mat. Just relax and soften every muscle from your toes to your hands. Relax through your shoulders and your jaw. Just let your body feel heavy. Let your breath move naturally. You can either quiet your mind or maybe think about what you want your day to look like. Maybe set an intention for your day. Maybe think about one thing that needs to be done today for you to feel fulfilled and successful. Just give yourselves these final few moments of complete stillness as we come into our final pose. Shavasana. Begin to deepen your breath. Slowly invite movement back to your body by wiggling your fingers and toes, circling out your wrist and ankles. You can reach your arms overhead for a nice big stretch, taking a deep breath in. 
And then gently rolling to one side and slowly start to make your way up to a comfortable seat. With your eyes closed, allow the palms of your hands to come together at your heart. Taking this moment to just acknowledge your practice this morning. Just being grateful you have the time and the opportunity to step onto your mat. Time to just slow down and take care of you. We'll close our practice with one final breath here all together. Begin to take a deep cleansing breath in through the nose. And just let out a long exhale. Gently lower chin to your chest. When you feel ready, you can blink your eyes open. Thank you all so much for practicing with me this morning. Until next time, namaste.